Yeah, hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the level Colorado Interstate 70 in the game Siphon Filter 2. This third mission in the series, um, so there is the playlist link in the description down below if you have missed any of the others or if you want to watch any of the others that are coming up. But this is basically how to complete this mission. Um, so you're going to want to start off by running into this little thing on the left hand side here, the little doorway, keep that door down, swing a left and then you see a door at the end of this uh, this little tunnel as well um, and you'll get binoculars and now this is a really helpful little secret that you can get which is pretty cool um, if you do like the video please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you for watching this video and let's go ahead here so the uh, binoculars are in the little box there so if you want to pick them up that's just a little extra thing that you can have you don't actually need to do that so if you don't want to you can sort of skip this bit and just stick in the, in the doorway, um, but we're going to go back to that now anyway. So it's only an extra, I don't know, 20 seconds on the playthrough that you're going to have to do there. Um, but you go back through this door basically, and then you're going to come across some enemies, but you're not going to want to kill them. So I'll show you exactly what you need to do here to go through to the next checkpoint and the first checkpoint of the game. So uh, this is the doorway that you need to be at, and then you just need to basically run at these enemies. They are being distracted by Gabe, who is up there someone I think you might play as Gabe I can't remember to be honest with you um, but basically you run through these you might want to do a little barrel roll but don't try and kill them um, because you don't need to and um, you want to get behind this truck here and then behind this truck you will get loads of weapons so you get your pistol your um, automatic and your shotgun um, so that will be really helpful because now you need to take these guys out so I'm using the automatic but I switch to the shotgun I much prefer using the shotgun to be honest with you one shot kills but uh, I do save that for a little bit later because it does get a little bit challenging with some of the enemies that you're going to come across a little bit later on. So just use the machine gun there and then there'll be a few more enemies. So you just want to run out of this tunnel here, as you can see, and take these enemies out as well. Um, so there'll be three of them. So you want to take these two out nice and easy, nice and quickly and get them two done and then switch yourself right around. Um, and then there's an enemy right at the top above the uh, the tunnel. So you're going to want to take him out as well. Try and shot, uh, headshot him and it will be a one shot kill. If not, then boom, nice little thud on the floor there. I do like having that happen. Um, basically, we have just saved your friend from dying, which is the main objective for this particular section. So uh, once you've done that, try to head through the, uh, the tunnel and you'll come across this little cutscene. Obviously, you can press X to skip it, uh, which I'm going to do just now. But you get to the next checkpoint, which is all good. So we're about, uh, about a quarter of the way through the video and through the mission already, which is brilliant. Um, but yeah, we're going to take this guy out here just um, run through here basically taking these people out so this is where I would get the shotgun out because there are a few enemies here a few more than what there was uh, previously so just use the shotgun to take these guys out and you'll uh, you'll have no problems because it is a one shot kill sometimes too depending on how far back you are but your friend will actually help you out as well um, but we're actually coming to a fun bit here uh, which is a little bit different from the, uh, the standard uh, just shooting and uh, section of the game uh, which you keep running here and you'll come through to another little checkpoint uh, where you see some loads of enemies coming towards you but fear not because you get this badass weapon the flamethrower so you just want to flamethrower these guys don't worry about ammo you don't have any ammo or anything like that just literally and it is a lot of fun to be honest with you um, take these guys out here and you will um, move on to the next section once you've done that make sure you get the ones behind you as well just to be on the safe side in the actual game I've turned the volume down so you can hear me but in the actual game you listen screaming and that sort of thing good fun <laughs> very good fun so this guy out here make sure you actually aim and get them properly and like I was for a second there and that will take him out as well and then you just have a couple more that you can just take out with your shotgun um, and then that'll be the next objective complete so we're really really rifling through this mission here not a very long one to be honest with you so far the first mission has definitely been the longest um, about 20 minutes and um, this one is only going to take about 10 minutes to complete so half the time there this little, little section now is more of a stealth section so you see that guy there um, just walking back and forward um, so you can either skip this cutscene or watch it whatever you want to do hit the checkpoint which is all good now you get the knife out and you want to sort of gingerly walk up so crouch down holding the x button to crouch and you'll be able to then go up to this guy you want to do it when he's on that side of the truck so you just wait for him to get to that side and then make your move you can run um, you can run here it's not a problem but just make sure then when you get near to him make sure that you're crouching down by holding that x button there um, and then take this guy out from behind and you can do a nice little neck slip 
um, on him and that will take him out stealthily. There's three of these that you need to take out still, or four, sorry, that you need to take out with stealth. Um, and then it, we're on to the last section of the mission after doing that. So not too bad at all. So you see him coming towards you, just get him there. Um, nice and easy and then you want to go see that guardrail there on the right hand side you're going to want to go onto that shortly um, but just before you do so there is one more uh, one more enemy that you're going to want to get so we pick up that ammo go on to the left hand side of this vehicle and you'll see this one here with the sign so there's got that route 70 sign there so wait for him to actually stand underneath the sign um, so he's just going to walk back and forward uh, it takes a little bit of time because he does take his time when he's walking back and forward there he is he's sitting under there so just wait for him to be there. As soon as he moves, you make your move and run towards him. So there you go, he's made his move there. Um, and we're gonna wanna kind of make our move towards him. And then you just slit his neck. This one I think we actually get animation for, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, run until you get a bit close. And then you wanna slow down and press square and you will take him out. So that's the second one there. You see the guard over there on the on the right hand side behind the railing. So we want to now go on to the other side of that railing. So there's a little slit in the in the uh, railing here. So we want to go there, crouch and make your way over to him stealthily and then get behind him and slit his neck. So a nice easy one there. Uh, one of the easier ones, one of the quicker ones. Uh, but we're going to take him out just now and you get that animation again which is a pretty cool animation to be honest i like that uh, for a ps1 game fantastic back in the day what a game this was um but yeah we've, we've taken him out there um, and then you see them two guys there just standing having a chin wag you want to sort of approach them slowly very very slowly not really going up to them but just crouch and walk a little bit just to start them talking um, and then one of them will walk to the left one of them will go straight for like a, a airport conductor you want to get the one that goes to the left and you will want to stealthily take him out if you don't then snipers will come from all angles and shoot the heck out of you and we don't want that so we want to take him I like that <laughs> I messed up actually on that particular attempt uh, but yeah we want to take him out so just keep going forward towards him and then you want to do what you've done to the others and just press the square button to slice his neck and you'll get on to the next one which is just the one more enemy that you actually need to defeat um, and he is the one that goes behind the truck so again you want to still take him out in a stealthily way um, so basically you want to just sort of crouch and walk around this uh, around this truck here and then press square and take him out just be careful no one else sees you there we go and very nice indeed and now you see your friend runs into the tunnel you want to actually follow him into the tunnel uh, so I don't know what I was doing there to be honest taking my sweet time uh, but yeah run through this into the tunnel swing a left here um, where you can see the enemy there so just take him out maybe just try and go for a headshot like I'm trying to do there so it took him out with a headshot follow your friend around still um, and you'll come across something in just a moment. I'm not going to spoil it before it happens just in case you are playing for the very first time and there were any spoilers but as you can see we get here and there's a massive tank. Now your friend actually gives himself up, puts his hands in the air, take me take me and that opens up the opportunity for you to sneak around the side here. So you want to sneak around um, the van lorry truck thing here and in the back of this there will be some grenades um, and these will come in handy. Um, so we're going to get the grenades here, just press triangle when you can, so grenades. Um, and we're not actually going to blow up the tank, which you might expect. We're actually going to go back to the, where you just shot that enemy, hopefully in the head, like uh, that you saw, and it will be in the doorway. Um, and you're going to want to go there, just you can run straight there, you don't need to do anything more stealthily now. And um, there's a massive tank there to be honest, so I you know that you're there, <laughs> so nothing to worry about with the stealth. So just run through here and then you're actually going to want to swing a right. So this is where you went before, where the binoculars were, um, you took left, but this time you want to go right. Um, and then there will be another door, kick the door open and you'll see a room full of generators. Um, so once you see that room full of generators, you're actually going to want to throw the grenade into that room. But you, you're going to want to run out pretty quickly. So don't go too far in because you do need to actually run out before the grenade goes off. Otherwise you will die as well, which obviously we don't want. Um, so we're going to run out there and it will make the mission turn into night mode. Um, now that's because you turn the power up. So there is no more electricity, no more lights. You can't see a thing. So we're actually running towards the last part of the mission now entirely. Um, so you want to go leave out this uh, out the way that you come in and basically swing a left and just keep running. Take these enemies out, equip the shotgun, 
just press square and it will automatically kill these enemies for you as you run out of the tunnel and that will complete the mission so i'm going to leave it there and um, you can obviously watch along for the last little uh, moment of this but there's not much more to do other than kill people and run forward so hopefully this video has helped if it has please do give it a thumbs up as always it helps so much hit that subscribe button for more videos like this check out the link in the description down below for the siphon filter 2 playlist as always guys thanks for watching bye bye